stick around to see how I created three very fun crafts made with household items, of course, that help celebrate London. And it also promotes kids to travel more for the new year. And guess what? All of this was inspired by this adorable book. So you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. What a wonderful world. Hey everybody, it's your girl, Cheryl the Activity Author, and I am here to bring you another special book inspired craft video. But before we get into it, guys, if you are new on this page, I am Cheryl. I create activities for kids using household items don't need to go to michael's or walmart and buy things because we're going to use paper towel rolls and things we have around the house so if that sounds like something that you are into please definitely hit that subscribe button so you can join my creative family and we can create together and also follow me on instagram because if you love daily short reels and inspiration and just craft ideas that you guys can do right now go on my instagram activity author and follow me because you will not be disappointed you will not but enough about me we are here for the book inspired craft video so i wouldn't be me if i didn't tell you about the book first and why it inspired me so today's book is called peyton goes to london by mommy daughter duo shayla and peyton mcgee and that's right you've heard it guys let me tell you why this book is first of all special to me personally because I believe I found my twin family. Yes, Shayla and Peyton, if you're listening, y'all my twin family because I found them on Instagram and I was so surprised at how cute their family is. And oh my God, they are so like like my family, so relatable. And I, I call them my twin family is because they publish books, they do craft videos and activities together and they're always spending time together traveling and just bonding as a family and I'm like oh that is totally my family right there so yes I found my twin family hey y'all <laughs> we gotta definitely hit up for a play date or something because I found out that y'all live in Atlanta too and that's only a couple hours from Charlotte so um don't be surprised if I hit y'all up if I end up in Atlanta soon okay but anyway y'all let me tell you about the book the book is oh, phenomenal like I'm ready to go to London right now because this book is actually written from realistic, real life events of them traveling together. So Peyton and her family, they love traveling. They went to Paris and London and all over. And they even have a book called Peyton Goes to Paris. So I'm gonna be reading that one next, but we're gonna follow Peyton in this book as her family travels and they go to all these different landmarks in London, things like the London Eye, the the Tower Bridge and even Big Ben. So if you wanna teach your child about different landmarks in London and just inspire them in general to travel, I think this is the book for you. Created for kids three and up. So drop down in my description box right now, grab you a copy of this book and stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you how Shayla and Peyton can help you publish that book that you've always been wanting to publish. So we are gonna get it out of your notes and we gonna get it in hardcover, softback, Kindle, audiobook. We gonna get it in all of that. So y'all stick around to the end and I can tell you what they can do for you. So now without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these three crafts that I pulled from this book that your kids are just going to love. Let's go. All right, so everything that I use is in the description box below. So go ahead and head down to that description box and uh, see what you need. So first we're gonna start with this little piece of white paper. I'm going to make a clock and don't worry because I have templates for you guys. So I'm also going to make a half circle for the roof of the tower. And if you want these templates, go to activityauthor.com, click on art templates, big Ben templates. It'll be right there for you. So you can just print that out and you can use the clock and you can use the other one as a stencil if you want to. But take that half circle and you're gonna bend it so that the corners meet like this. And that gives you a nice little cone shape now you're gonna glue it together or you can hot glue it if you're in a rush and that is going to be all the prep that you need to do for this project so the kids can do the rest parents mm -hmm. 
So I went into my recycling bin and I found this old spaghetti carton and I said this is perfect for the tower. So I'm basically trying to map out uh, each of the sides and this construction paper is way too short so uh, I'm gonna need another sheet <laughs> so two brown pieces of construction paper so what I'm doing now is showing you guys stenciling this is a fun way for kids three and up or even two and up to make wonderful brick patterns on your tower so use a Lego block I couldn't really find one so I just used what looks like a Lego block this little thing that my daughter had lying around and I am making brick patterns by dipping it into the brown paint. And this is how it looks when it is done. So go ahead and let it dry fully and then cut it out. Well, I cut it out. You really don't have to. You could just wrap it like you're wrapping a present, but I wanted it to look really neat. So I went ahead and cut out the four sides. And like I said, I used two sheets of construction paper because um, I used some of this for the top of the, the cone top. Yeah, so I ended up using two sheets of brown construction paper. So go ahead and attach your sides. All right, so the last step is basically cutting out a shape on the top so that your paper towel roll can be held snug and it won't move. So I just kept chunking at it, cutting little piece by little piece, and then kept checking periodically to see if it fits, if it's snug. Don't cut out a big chunk of this because you might cut too much and then you have nothing to sustain your paper towel roll. So once I got the perfect shape, I went ahead and put this paper towel roll in. And as you can see, it's fitting nice and snug. And there you have it. One big bend coming right up. Super simple, super easy. Your kids would love to help you make this. My daughter loved this one. And if you want those templates, don't forget activityauthor.com. Grab those templates and get started today. All right, let's go ahead and get to the next craft. So because Peyton and her family were traveling on that double decker bus the entire time, we gotta make that. So paint a paper towel, roll red, then you're gonna cut it in half like this. And then I use some googly eyes for the headlights. And then I'm going to cut the back out just like you see here. And I did get a little scissors happy, so I ended up cutting too much. So you will see some hot glue where I had to reattach to the parts that I shouldn't have cut off. But yeah, just like this is the look that you're going for. We're almost done. So now we're gonna add the windows. And you can see that I'm folding this blue piece of paper multiple times, so I only have to cut out one shape of the window. Okay, so my three-year-old daughter helped me put these windows on. Don't judge her. We're not gonna judge three-year-olds, but we are gonna put these wheels on here by poking four holes at the bottom, and we're gonna put the pipe cleaner through. Now, if I could change anything about how I did this craft, I would put the pipe cleaner on second, right after I attached the two red pieces together because it was kind of hard putting that one in the front, you know, by the driver's side. It was hard to put that through because I already had the window on. So yeah, learn from my mistakes. But yeah, you're gonna go ahead and put your wheels on. I use those pouchy, squeezy little pouches like this, the one right here. I use those, but you can use water bottle tops. You can use uh, soda bottle caps, whatever circular device you can find in your recycling bin. You do that and make your big bin the way you want. Take pictures, tag me. I wanna see how y'all's turn out, all right? So because this book is for kids three to age eight, I figured we gotta have a good motor activity for those motor skills, you know what I mean? So go to my website, click on the template that says United Kingdom flag. Um, I have two versions of it, so you can click on either one. I have them coded so you know what colors to make each of the sections. So after I made this template for you guys, all you have to do is print it out and find some streamer paper or tissue paper or any red and blue type of thing you have lying around the house. I don't know guys. <laughs> and then all you do is put glue on the different section and have your child put the appropriate color.
And a little tip is to have the kids do one section at a time. So do all the reds first and then do all the blues because they will mix it up if you just put all the glue on one section and tell them to go, they will mess it up. <laughs> so have them do one at a time. But this is a great, great craft for a uh, school event, vendor event, because you only need three things, the glue, the tissue paper, and the template. So I highly suggest this one. And my daughter loved the way this turned out. We had fun creating it together. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed all of these crafts that I came up with from this awesome book. And don't forget to follow the McGee authors, y'all. Did you know that Shayla McGee published eight books? Yes. So I mean, it's only befitting that she had a publishing company. So she launched a publishing agency called the Ivory Pen Publishing, and it helps people just like you publish books that you've always wanted to publish at a very competitive price. And they will have your book looking professional and sleek. So you want to make sure you follow them on all platforms and Facebook, Instagram, because she shares daily tips and inspiration that can help you get out of your own way and get your book published today. So definitely check them out. You will not be disappointed. Tell her the activity author sent you. And let's not stop the party here. We're going to party until New Year's because I have more videos for you. So go ahead and click on one of these videos right Right here to keep the party going and I will see you before the ball drops because I am launching one more video before New Year's so you want to subscribe and stick around I'll see you in my next video bye